When we see sines and cosines mixed up in a trig equation, we really can only do one thing, at this level anyway, and that is to use the fact that cosine squared of something add sine squared of the same thing is always 1. So in this case we need to eliminate any reference to cosine, so I'm going to rearrange that um, to be the form to be the, to make cosine the subject. So cosine squared x is always one minus sine squared x. Substituting that in here, we get five sine x minus cosine squared x plus two sine squared x equals one. And expanding that, we should get what we're after, which is 5 sine x. Uh, we get minus 1 and 1 on the other side, so that gives us the minus 2. And just to convince ourselves that the sine squareds work, we've got 2 sine squared here and another 1 from here. So 3 sine squareds as required. Now, hence solve, don't try and do it your own method. Hence really means take it take it from here. For 180, minus 180 is plus 180, this equation. Now, this equation looks very similar to this equation, only x has been replaced by 2 theta. So what we really do is we solve this equation with x replaced by 2 theta. So let's see what we get. We get 3 sine squared 2 theta plus 5 sine 2 theta minus 2 equals 0. And so we've got a quadratic equation uh, and we need to factorise. So let's have a go at that. 3 sine theta, 3 sine theta, not 3, just 1 sine theta. Sorry about that. Uh, we want two numbers to multiply to make two minus two, so it's going to be minus two and one or whatever. Uh, we want plus five signs, we get six, yep, six and minus one. So there it is factorised. Uh, let's make a bit of space here. So from here we know that this, this should be two theta, sorry. So we know that sine two theta is equal to one third or sine two theta is equal to minus two. Now that has no solutions because sine can never be anything outside the range minus one to plus one. So we can ignore that. Sine two theta equals a third then two theta equals, now we whip out a calculator here and we're going to get something like um, 19.4 degrees now, there's more solutions here, and sine, if the sine of something is 19 point, sine of something is a third, there's a third, then the angle is either here or here. So if that's 19.4, then this, is a, this angle is 180 minus 19.4, which is 160.6 degrees. Then there's another one by going one lap and a bit but we don't really need to do that because if you remember in the question it said that theta is between minus 180 and plus 180 so 2 theta is in the range minus 360 to plus 360 um, so adding another 360 onto this won't give us a solution in this range. Adding 360 onto this won't either, but subtracting 360 from these two will give us answers in the right range. So I'm going to subtract these from 360 to get 340.6 and um, subtract that from 360 we get 199.4. So those are the four solutions so far. Well, all we need to do now is um, divide by 2 to get what theta is. So 19.4 gives us 9.7 degrees. Um, uh, 340.6, well I'll do it in order. 160.6 gives us 80.3 degrees. 
199.4 gives us 99.7 degrees and 340.6 is 170.3 degrees. Um, no, I've now realised I've missed off the uh, the minus signs when I did this subtracting 360 malarkey. So uh, it's minus there and minus there, which makes the 199... Uh, that one should be negative, and that one should be negative. That should be it, I think. Just one last check, yeah. 